Thank you so much for joining me as Game Edge. We are back in Lens Island. A lot of you really enjoyed this. I figured I'd take a second look at this again. If you guys want to see more of this, make sure you take the time. Hit the like button if you're brand new. Please go and subscribe. We did a, about a two or three hour stream on this and enjoyed ourselves quite a bit. Now, I did do a lot of grinding off camera to make sure we're, we're able to do a couple of things. And yeah, to a point where I'm pretty full. If you look over here and I open up tab, I actually, uh, yeah, stockpiled myself. Plus, I've done some work inside the forge. I filled this up completely with uh, wood. So we're doing really nicely. Uh, that being said, I think we can upgrade, sorry, right over here. We can upgrade this to level two now. That's right. We got tons of goodies. I even went to the mines and picked up some shards and stuff. I made some more with the rocks. So that works out pretty good. Let's upgrade it and see what we could do. Ooh. All right, this opens up a whole bunch of stuff, including, what is this? Weapons rack, tool chest, ooh. Are we more farming here? What's this? Water tower, salvage metal. All right, we're gonna have to really go and work on this to get a lot more of the salvage metal. These are the crates and stuff we found. Probably have to go into caves too, go a little deeper and see what it's all about. Huh. Vertical framework for vines growing. I wonder if this is what I needed for for the actual passion fruit. I can't figure out how to plant that stuff yet. We still, I mean, I picked a couple up right here. And these are definitely grapes. Okay, wait, grapes would be vines. And vines most likely need this. This makes a lot more sense. Okay, all right, well, nice. That means maybe we can make ourselves a couple more of the gardens over here. Uh, maybe we should stretch that out a tiny bit. Maybe make a second row over here. Uh, that sounds like a plan, actually. And, oh, my God, I'm out of wood. <laughs> that quick. Well, looks like I'll be chopping down till morning. We'll have to make ourselves some stuff here. Let's see if I can at least make the gardens and get ourselves going with that. Looks really cool. I don't know what it's going to cost. I didn't really check to see the cost. So what happens is on the, that bench there, you're going to buy it and almost make yourself a blueprint. Not almost, but you're going to make yourself a blueprint. And what you do with that blueprint is that you are able to build on this side now, over here in construction. So very, very cool. Uh, we did make ourselves a well and all the goodies that we did uh, throughout. Uh, stuff does grow back. Rocks do come back and all that goodness. So it helps out quite a bit. It definitely does. You can definitely grind and get going. Uh, there are, of course, a lot of baddies and stuff. We haven't really investigated far enough to really enjoy that part of it. But for now, what we're going to do also is expand this base. But let's go and check out to see how much it's going to cost us for this. It's going to tell us only if that's pretty darn that's pretty darn cheap. Only five of those. I'll take that. How much is it for these to learn? Oh yeah, there's some cost behind those. Those are the salvage metals. We have to try it though. Weapons rack. I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna learn it. Screw it. We're we're gonna learn it. All right. So we slept the night, and it's time for us now to jump back out and also, uh, well, take care of our farm too. I know it doesn't look like we need water. Actually, we don't really need water, do we yet? No, I think we're okay. Uh, you'll see it kind of really lighten up a little bit here. Uh, these, as soon as they turn out really good, we're gonna be able to replant them down. Let's check this out right now. 172. We're doing really nicely on these, right? We have more than enough berries on us. We can eat up a couple more of those. Always good to munch on these. Oh, delicious. All right, now we're doing really nice. <laughs> okay, so it's probably a good idea if we make ourselves a couple more plots over here. I think we're going to end up uh, building those right away. Let's get rid of some of this junk that's lying around. Oh, by the way, if you're playing this game, I'm going to show you guys something very, very important. Uh, go to your settings right here and switch this to WASD if you want to. I switched it out to it. A uh, whole lot easier for me personally. I'm able to use that and move around and instead of the mouse. And I still have to use a mouse for directionary uh, when I want to hit something in a certain way. So if I'm aiming there, he'll go that way and that way. But to move around a whole lot easier doing this and now that being said let's go and do a little bit of construction uh right over here i i don't really want to click those in if i don't have to um yeah can i leave a little space that's all i really want to do is like that oh okay hold on a second let's move out of the way because we're inside the, the plot all right and rotate like that oh i did do it like that okay cool that works let's do a couple of those and a few of these here i'm not sure if i need to only have one i'm not sure how that works tell you the truth um all right let's let's just get back into planting here i won't be able to do them all anyways but let's see if this works here uh, let's put this in here 
No, you see my grapes are still not showing up. Six available. Oh. Wait a second. Yes. So where's that planting? On the fa Oh, it's on the fence. Oh, we need to build another one of these. Huh. Very, very, very interesting. All right. Well, I found these grapes, by the way, inside the cave. And that's where we got them from. So that is pretty darn easy. How much more do we have these left? I have three more of those left to do. So maybe we can put some up on top of these ones too. Just to make a life a whole lot easier. I think so. I'm liking this. I'm loving it. Uh, maybe on this side. So it's a little easier for me to see when I'm doing that. Okay. So right here. And another vine there. Another vine there. Okay, a little tricky to, to touchy. There we go. <laughs> Come on, just let me touch it. There we go, from the sides. Okay, and I think that's all I can do, right? I don't think they're going to let me do any more here. Oops. No, we're done. Cool, so we got that. We have a couple of those planted. Very nice. I think I can plant out a whole bunch more blueberries here if I want to, or even flowers. Maybe we'll make this our flower bed instead. Sounds like a plan. So really nice part of this is that if you click here, right in the bottom, it does show you the last one you planted, so it's really fast. You just click on the next plot right there like that. Bang, 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 done. Really is that easy. So if I want to go and plant myself a whole bunch of the same flowers, I can just do it without having to go and search for it up there. I like that a lot. But the WASD, by the way, very, very nice. I really enjoyed it. Made my life a whole lot easier. And right over here, we'll do roses. And these are all things we can sell and make some cash, by the way. So the mixer, you know, it's nice to have the food, don't get me wrong. Uh, but I do need to make some coin. I do have some on us, as you saw, just prior to here. If you look up here, we have 25 roses. We have uh, marigolds, 59, and, of course, lavender. So it sounds kind of weird, but we need this to make some currency and so we can go around and buy other things as we need it, like our backpack we picked up last episode. Okay, that being said, how much stuff do I have left now? Not a ton, which means I'm going to go and have to grind out a tiny bit more again. All right, almost done here. At least picking these things up. Uh, the fastest way I've found, honestly, is finding a tree with a whole bunch of brush to make to get double shots. And you also, when you finish up your stroke, you see that it goes to the end. There's like a round white circle. You need to nail that again right away so you can get yourself also six on a hit to nine. So it makes your life a whole lot easier. Okay, now we're nice and full now on those. Uh, we can switch over to the blade over here and just start slicing. And try and get as much of these as possible here because we're going to need a whole bunch of this fibrilicious stuff not sure how desperate we are going to be for it right now but right now we're okay uh it looks like i'm gonna to have to go and water up my plants beforehand before we get out of here some of these are getting dry those are super dry over there completely forgot about it so let's get to our little chest here and grab that water in there let's put that in here and these are really full of water i wonder if i get it from the other side i'm just curious I don't want to have to do it every single time. I'm just curious to see whether or not I can do it on this side. By the way, that backpack we bought it also increased an extra space. So now we have five spaces, also four. My bomb on a hot bar makes our whole life a lot easier. It really does. Okay, so let's spread this. That's good. There's only two per watering can. So you got to go back over here, just click on it, bring it down, and just press Q on there. Again, with WASD's Q. With the other one, I think with the mouse, is W. So it depends on what you're using. All right. I probably could have been on an angle there, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world. We'll just grab ourselves a little more. I don't think I'm out, right? Yeah, I'm still out. All right, cool. Now, I took off this one, too. Remember, I had a little, uh, a little uh, flower bed there, too. And I removed it because I wanted to build on that. It wasn't the point to stay with that. What I did do, if you press F on this, you can go on to this and do upgrades so i could do stone foundation upgrades right away if i want to and i could upgrade this from wood foundation or just recycle the item uh, resources are refunded fully i think freaking awesome right exactly and you get to move around and do that stuff so it really makes a big difference especially when you're building and making a mistake or something i'm not sure if i can change this part this was here before i bought well bought took over this house that was already built so I wonder if that is something. Now, I do see some more rocks here. So we could put a little more in the forge there. And just light this up here. And just go and grab this really quick. And you see I'm hitting a stroke right at the end. 
There's nine. If I don't hit it, next hit it's going to be six. And they do get some extra resources, I think, if we do it on time. But sometimes you see extra stones show up on the bottom, so it makes a you know, pretty cool difference. Also, sometimes wildflowers are out there. So you got to check around for the area. Walk around, try and do as much work as you possibly can and earn as much as you, of course, want or want to spend in time grinding. Uh, definitely very useful. All right, we can open up this here. We can make ourselves possibly some, uh, some more foundations here. Maybe another one over there. Does this look like it's going the right way? It sure does. Okay, and maybe... Now, this is going to be a big problem, this thing. So I do have to work a little bit around it. Uh, move myself away, too. It's very helpful. So I'm going to have to work around this thing. It's going to make it a little bit difficult. And I wish I could remove that. Hopefully, they'll add that to the game where if there's things that's already inside the game, we can actually just take them off. You know, I'm just... I'm hoping... I really am hoping. I uh, don't know if we can refund this or not, but anyways, we're going to go grab the stuff we got out of it. And I'm not sure if I if I take everything apart, I'm going to get my wood back, and I'm going to fly everywhere. So I'm just going to leave it there for now. We can expand this in a weird way if we want to, maybe around a light post. I don't know. The only way to know is to have some fun and to kind of hit it up right now. So let's just do this. Again, always in the way. Okay. And maybe over here... a. Nice bay window. Like that. A double window there. And here will wall up uh, most of the stuff here. Just show me where it's going in. I don't even see it. I think that's right. Perfect. And over here, I believe we're going to do another window. I think there's another one there. I just can't see it because the wood and my placement. Okay. So, right now there is walls and everything else here. There is our entrance right now. And that's where we first started that cabin. There's still a whole bunch of ceiling pieces and stuff needed. Uh, of course, it's costing a lot of wood. We also need to close off this part over here. Let's do that really quick. We might just go ahead to the caves at night. I'm not sure. It's going to be difficult for me to find afterwards. Now, there's a whole bunch of roof pieces and stuff. I was wondering, because I do want Tess to go up to a second floor and such. Uh, so I was thinking about doing wood ceilings. And I have to worry about that with the roof pieces afterwards. So, again, wondering if I can refund this, because this was not my house beforehand. And, yes, we can recycle it. That is stunning. Absolutely stunning. All right, cool. So, yeah, that's perfect. This only costs five wood. We're going to put this going the same direction as the ones below. Can I roll out of this? I can. Good. All right, and then roll back in and let's move WASD. We can move around and see what we're working with. Uh, I think I'm going to need one of these stairs up possible or just one that's going straight up. Maybe when it's going straight up. No, we're going to have to go with this. Okay, so let's rotate this until we find a good place for it. I think right about there. All right, that's good. That means I'll make one more ceiling piece right here, and we're going to get ourselves some sleep for the night. And then we'll worry about the walls and everything else there. So let me grind a little bit more. We'll get some sleep. We'll go back to daylight. Okay, so big harvest day. All the stuff is ready to go. I still want to go to the caves before I go and sell stuff, but I'm curious to see what's at the store. I'm too far away. Yeah, I know. I'm too curious to see what's at the store right now. So these are going to be all blueberries on this side now since we have a new flower one on that side, so I'm not going to waste it. I'm at 250 berries. Is that the max I can freaking carry? I think so. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, might be. I'm not positive if I didn't drop some on the ground here. Uh, we're going to have to see. Anyways, we're going to build eat some anyways, but if we have way too many of them and I can't carry more than 250, then I'm curious to see what we're going to do with that. Um, yeah, that's going to be interesting. <laughs> we could probably go and sell some off, I guess. We also, like I said, the flowers and stuff is not a bad deal. But if I can't carry more than 250, that is not going to be good. Anyways, we'll work on it. We'll decide how we're going to rock this out. We're getting quite a bit of flowers right now here. And, you know, maybe we should head out there for a bit. For a second, that tree freaked me out. I thought something was coming after me. <laughs> this game is very peaceful, but, you know, 
You never know. All right, we should probably go drop some more water on these things, but they look pretty good still. They still look actually in good shape. No, I think we'll leave it the way it is. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so let's go and do that. We're also going to take a little snack. It's early in the morning. Let's make sure our stamina and our stomachs are doing well since we have so much junk to sell. And we just have to go to Path, which we create over here. And this stuff I need right here. We'll have to go around a tiny bit and do a little bit of looting. I didn't head up where I was supposed to, but I don't think there's any more here. Oh, he does have some goods. What is this? Chopper, arr, chop, arr. <laughs> Says chop some wood real quick. Use this item to gain speed on every swipe. Oh, that looks good. Saber. <laughs> Weapon uh, for rookie pi uh, pirate. Not pilot, pirate. Arr. I like that. Nothing in here. Just a bed. Can I save in that bed if I was like stuck somewhere? No, I didn't think so. Oh, there's some stuff here we can collect. There we go. I would definitely love to get that axe, though. It uh, intrigues me already. I kind of want it now. Like, really now. Since all the uh, Pirate Island is one guy that's just kind of chillaxing here and doing his pirate thing. All right, gotcha. We're going to grab the berries and stuff off that because we saw them and why not? Let's make that happen. Now, the store is here. I was hoping to see maybe some more stuff come in. I don't know. Maybe we'll get lucky. Anything inside here? No, not yet. There is a property we can buy too. There's a big old spiky boy. <laughs> All right. There's some pretty good damage. 130 bucks for that. That's a pretty nice mace. And bolt oh chop. And here's the balls we can sell, glass we can sell for this. And currently in glass, I have 227 of it. So we could sell some for this here. Let's sell. It's pretty okay. I mean, I could do more than that. I could do I can make more than that and I can find more. So let's keep it to 100. So right now in coin, we have 75 bucks. We might be able to get that. Uh, there's nothing else better around here. What are these things anyways? Like buoys or something? I don't know. We might be able to get ourselves a better axe than we have. I'm not sure even the truth if that's a better one or not. But yeah, there's gems. Okay, sapphires. We don't have a ton of these, uh, but they are worth a mint. Uh, I haven't seen a reason to keep them just yet. So I'm just going to sell them to make some coin. Did it, I just sold them, right? Yeah, okay, good. I, I kept a couple just in case of emergency. And he has what? Oh, he has some stuff over here. Sorry, I didn't check that out. Ice Lance. Ooh, 800 bucks. Wow. Some pretty good stuff out there. Thought I saw something in the water there. No, nothing at all. Some pretty decent stuff. Is this saying like can I pick this up at all? This looks really cool. Nice. I don't know. Alright, uh, there is a, another part of this town right over here. And yeah, the blacksmith. Plus, there's also a store up here for sale. You see, there's a bakery you can buy. Oh, what's this? Refined mace. Can I buy it for free? Okay, whoa, whoa, iron shards, dark essence, 10, and I need light stone. That's the only thing I need? Whew. You're selling the light stone here, dude? I mean, if you're selling an, a little bit of that, I'd be in for that. But no, there's some scrap and stuff we can buy, some coal, which we got a little bit of coal. But he's not selling a light stone. I bet you it's a little bit further in. $2,000 coming soon. All right. Not yet in the game, I guess. There's some food over there, too. And she's selling a whole bunch of vegetables and stuff. I don't see... Oh, there they are. Oh. If I buy for 15 bucks, I can start making some of these. All right. That's good to know. There's a whole field full of there, but we can't see all, so that's good, I guess. Okay, so what is this one? Just a different backpack? <gasps> You're right.
Does it like an increase in others? It doesn't say that at all, does it? Oh, 500 bucks for that thing. That would be super nice to have. Uh, here's Flower Lady. I do have a frig load to sell, by the way. Let's just flip this over here. How much do I have? 50 of these. Sold. Here we go. Nice. And then we have some of you. And how much do I have of these? 59 of these. Okay, I guess I can't sell my ones. Okay. And we have, of course, some of you. Now we're planting these. We'll be able to make ourselves more. I found most of these in the field. We planted a couple. Uh, so that turns out really good. $247. I think I could sell some of the rocks and stuff. So don't need that much more money, which is great. I'm going to go for it and, uh, and earn me uh, something here. I want that backpack with no more money to spend. Yeah, so I sold everything I possibly could. If I could have sold the little shards here, the little uh, sapphires and stuff, but it's all good. I was able to do what we needed to. Now we can get us a bigger backpack again. Carrying more stuff is great. You can also change your clothes here if you want to. And yes, we will buy the backpack. You have another one back there? You're just making it. You just make me want more, don't you? These are light shards. The light stone I needed. Sell. I can't buy any. Why won't you let me buy until I find them, I guess, right? You son of a... All right. Well, I guess we'll head back home. Check out our stuff. But uh, we didn't get an extra slot in this one. We did get up to 500 now we can carry, which is probably a good thing, especially with this. There is a bar underneath that tells you how far you can go. I believe we were maxed out at 250. So with this, we double up. We don't have to worry about it too, too much. And I guess we could also sell some of these vegetables or fruits, actually, to the lady up here. She actually might buy some from us. Some of the grapes and stuff we have here. Some goodies. There we go. Let's, uh, let's try and keep some on us because we're going to have to go to caves. All right, so I spent a little bit of time grabbing some resources. Went around the island, my little loop around to get everything done. Looks like our harvest here is going to be ready soon. Now, you can check the other ones by hovering over, but the grapes, I couldn't find the right spot. I just wanted to see uh, whether it's ready or not, but I don't know. I guess we'll be patient with those. But once they're completed, they'll come back. I think I'm going to go into the caves, and uh, yeah, we will just go and check out to see how far we can go down. This time around, I do have how much? Oh, that's the wrong thing. That's helpful. I'm going to put the berries in here. And it's going to be a 25 stack of 148. So it's okay. And don't worry about it. You solve all your stuff in there. That's without doubt. So let's eat this up and make sure we're nice and full. So the guy feels great. That way he's going to be able to fight his way through what he needs to fight. Now, again, they're always looking for this wonderful stuff. I'm not going to say no to it because uh, we need to quite... We'll fill up a little bit more of that, especially if we go towards 500. So we're going to be very, very patient with this and try and grab what we possibly can inside the caves too. But there will be some coal too. We're going to need that. I'm pretty sure for the future, it looks like there's some special flowers over here growing. So we'll take out our sword. They do grow back every so often and it's time for it to grow back. Love it. Perfect. So again, important part is just remember to fight by placing your mouse in the right direction. Uh, that's the only thing I'm trying to remind myself of that because it can be a real pain. I can. I seem to forget it sometimes. I'm always looking to move around and fight, and I'm used to first person, but I'm getting a little better at this. All right, so we're inside the ancient caves over here. Uh, here we can place and pick up anything we want to, the torches and stuff, uh, because this is recording you built to uh, I'll lighten up the caves a little bit for you guys so you can see a little better. We'll try to also, uh, if possible, light up a few more of the torches and stuff that we can around this area. Uh, would be helpful. I'm not going to use those ones because it's pretty far away. We're going to try and see what we have over here for harvesting. Uh, a little darker in this area. My apologies, but I believe we've got possible coal. We're going to find out in a second. Well, these are mega hits. I should be getting a bonus out of that. And we got coal and some stone with that one. Uh, sometimes you get stone with shards inside the caves too. Really nice. Uh, I guess we're going to go back across the bridge and make our way and see what we can find a little bit further in today. It would be nice if we can get in there. Oh, this is 
I think it was just rock. But I see a little bevels of things. So yeah, it's coal. Now coal itself, I am not the richest dude on coal. I'm gonna need to go and get myself a whole bunch more. Right now I have 69. Well, I had 69. Now it's 79. So you see how this yeah it doesn't take very long before it goes away. But again, some of these torches and stuff do cost quite a bit to fill up. I believe once you get them all done, it'll make our life a whole lot easier for us to see around here. Plus the fire itself. Uh, if you can stand around fire, we'll heal you. Love that. Okay, that was something a little different. What did we just get? Cattails? Just fiber, I think. That's all we got? I think so, because I, I don't see anything else here that I recognize. We did get a grape there. Uh, possibly. I'm not sure how come, but we got one. So, it is what it is. But I will... Be I'm going to have to... Don't touch me! Okay, I'm going to invest in this. And then light it. Okay! Now we can all see better. Oh, a little bugger. Is there a nest near here, I guess? There might be a nest near here. All right, yeah, again, if we stand near the fire here, we will heal ourselves. So it's going to be a little bit easier if we need to fight it out. I'm going to go and try and chop this up. There is, again, more scrap of stuff inside the cave. But we're also looking for those shards and the light ones. I think that's what they're called, right? Light shards? We're here. Light stones, sorry. Does it tell you where you find them? Stone found deep within the caves. Yeah, so there we go. End of story. No need to check. It's there. <laughs> it's a good thing we checked. All right. That's good. I guess so, because I can't see anything over here. Can I fix this? have that stuff repair bridge ooh, ooh, ooh. don't don't we haven't done this oh balls bring him back here for a second you going you know i should have brought the other weapon i should have brought the other weapon we were messing around with a little big sight there i think it was pretty darn amazing i have to learn to block with this thing too all right, uh, is there anything else I can add here? I'm going to worry about this stuff in a second. No, okay, so they, why were they just hanging out here by themselves? It's kind of weird. No nest around. Just waiting for us there. If I can grab a little more to fill up the next ones we're going to pass by. Like I said, it doesn't come out. Oh, that's just rock. I think these are both just rocks here. Very big possibility. Tough to see. Again, we do have a torch we can carry, but I can't put in to the uh, area here, into my slot here, when I'm actually using the barriers for feeding myself. It's the only way of doing it, you're going to lose one. Guess we could have left some stuff behind anyways, but it is what it is. I uh, don't know. There just seems to be a little scaffolding here, but nothing else. Uh, bring back onto your sword, and I really don't want to... Spend more than I have to. I need to find a fire. Because it's always burning. Oh, nice jump, asshole. Alright. Try and keep it for coal now. Holy crap, that's a big boy. What is that thing? I've never seen it before. Oh, it's fast. It's super freaking fast. I don't want to lose my stuff. I don't want to lose my stuff. Okay, I'm going to fight you. Just a second, dude. Can you just bugger off? Let's go towards fire together. Okay, so I can see how you're doing. Yeah, just come here. I knew you were bigger ones out there. I saw the previews of this thing, but now I can find your fire. I'm feeling better. Whoa. Stick with it, buddy. Stick with it. Just go in there. He's not as strong as he looks. Oh, okay, that was three of them. For them, okay, yeah, this is chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Gamage was running for his life because there's a lot of big creatures in this area. And that was a big boy making these guys look like fluff in the wind, but multiple of them at once can just destroy the crap out of you, absolutely destroy you. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna actually light this up because last time I couldn't see. 
too, too well. I'm also going to check out to see on this side here. There's one of this little stupid nest. There's no fire around here I can use. Oh, what is that? That is nice in the second level up there. I can't... I can't see behind this thing here. I don't think we're going to continue because it's blocking me for a reason. I don't think we can go up there. I have to go back around to do it. Uh, is this just rock? I think so. Not that it's not good, but I really want to go out and do a little more work here, and I don't feel like just... Wait a second. I don't feel like just... Uh, grabbing crap and mining all day here. I want to check out to see what else we can get done. There's a little bug up there, down there. This is where we've met the big boy. Okay, this could be a problem. Jesus. I need to hit this friggin' nest. Okay. I'm just eating. Okay. Holy balls, I ate so many friggin' berries. I'm surprised that I'm not... <laughs> bloating the poor guy right we still have 123 so it's okay uh more enough oops more than enough berries there again sorry if it's so dark it's not so bad but we think we found the end of this here or at least probably boss oh crap just take it just take the pounding oh crap there's a bigger nesting there something just fly by my face here Okay. Yeah, I definitely would have preferred to brought the other weapon. I could have swung around in circles against these guys. Okay. All right, just keep on swinging because I'm crouching. It's bats. Okay. Okay, stop swinging, dude. All right. Um... Probably use a barrier too, just in case. What do we got ourselves to here? Can I knock him off? Play my shield up for this one. I think we could handle these guys if we just stop in the nest from. That friggin' nest. No! Okay, somehow, miraculously, we've, uh... What we're gonna do is... We're gonna slide in some more barriers into here. Oh! He was giving us some of these uh, little buggers, though. It's pretty good. Okay. So the good thing is, if you fall off the edge... I just want these guys in front of me so I can smack the living shite out of this thing. I just gotta go full throttle on it. That's all. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to make this. No, it's not gonna happen. No, 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 no. There's too many of them. I gotta take out the big guys before I can do anything here. Let's bring them back to the fire. They'll chase me. They'll chase me. They're, they're hungry. Like big frogs, pissed off, ready to go. Come on. Okay, he was just trying to hit left. Damn it. Okay, just reheal ourselves here. Open this up. Drag in a few more of those to make a stack of 25. Okay. We're all healed up. We should be okay to go. Whew. That is a lot of them. That nest there is, is deadly, so maybe that's where the keys to... Oh, son of a... Just keep back, dude. Really wish I brought the other one. 
I know I could go back to the front of the cave for that, but... Oh, no! A sticky key! Microsoft wanted to tell me that I'm doing sticky keying. Okay. Let's take out that stupid nest. It was number one priority. I couldn't do anything else here. It looks like a whole building and everything else here. So that's interesting. Okay. Well, I'm going to go and search out the stuff here. Oh, shit. They can get through here. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, my God. They're just going to come out nonstop, aren't they? Okay. There was something else here two seconds ago. I saw that. I'm just going to go into this little room here and see if there's anything... I can't really see, so yeah. Oh. I don't know if I got built to make this all the way through here. I need a fire, first of all, to survive. We're down to 68. We gotta keep your eye on that. If there's any more danger now, I need to get myself out of here. <laughs> What's this to us? Okay, wow. Can, you, can I have a fire now, please? Oh, balls. Not you. You're not a fire, asshole. I don't know if you realize that. You might have two little things to bomb your chin, but... I figure if you live in that cave, you should be pretty much blind by now. You don't want to feel me going across your little tentacles. That sounds really awful, actually. It's both of them, too. Now I'm not feeling like I want to roll across that anymore. Okay, I'm trying to avoid eating the fruits. I just want to know if I can find a fire. Oh, it looks like a trap right here. Eh? Yep. It was. Not really a rolling place to go. There's holes there. Holy balls. That is so freaking close to death. Okay, just a little bit more left here. Oops. We can't roll on this area too. I just gotta accept it. Uh-huh. I can't see anything here. This is just brutal. The amount of enemies down here. I don't know if I can find my way out anymore. <laughs> so I wonder if I can actually remember how to do that. Does these things spawn back? I'm thinking we gotta be better prepared than this. And I am gonna need a torch, but I still need to, the problem is I, okay, we won't need the ax, that's for sure. I'll leave the ax behind next time. Like how am I supposed to, f You hear the doors open, right? So I'm just trying to see if there's anything else to hit around here. There's more of a path over here. It's like a whole city that died down here. That's pretty insane. Okay, well, you know what? I don't care at this point. I'll light this up. There's another spawn thing over there. Jesus. Uh, they could be a little more generous on the fires, uh, I, I'd say. Very much need. Okay, well, I'm going to roll back the other way. <sighs> oh, there's one here. Jesus, I finally knew that. That is perfect timing. Let's, let's, let's be the place that has a light, right? Thought we're gonna have to run back home. There's still a lot to build and do. I might not just be prepared or have the I might not have the right weapon for this.
Oh, there's a crate there. They do glow. Okay, can you get back right here? Okay. That's actually cash in those, okay. That's probably what happened to the other one. I was too busy being attacked, not looking what we got. Okay, so, some money. There's 60 bucks on us now. Another chest here on the right hand side. Not what we're looking for. Oh my god, there's so many of them! I'm eating! Thank god. I have to go back to the fire again. I don't think I have enough fruits. Um, oops, shit, sorry. I'm looking down to the fruits and not even looking where I'm hitting. It's like a constant click for me right now. And that's a really generous and shoot a fire up here too. That'll make me go all the way back there. That'd be really cool though. Just saying, would appreciate it very, very much. Okay. What is this area? Interesting. Yeah, I think we have no choice but to come off oh, for freak's sake, really, with the torch. Oh, I got the wrong weapon. I was thinking there may be coal here. And we hit another fire, but I think I think this is like an endless cave. Maybe at a second exit to this, I don't know. But these caves are just a mammoth to find what we're looking for. go. I was going to go back to a fire. Look at this. I came by and I saw this. Crime has been low and minor offenses. Many citizens are, are mining for days. Okay, the city streets are bare. And the people here are tired because problems. All right. What the hell? Though? I didn't realize there's actually notes and stuff in this game. Two people missing. Still yet to be found. The people have been uh, growing more restless. Five infringement last night from looters and thieves. And now us, where we're taking all the stuff to. I just went back just to heat up. Uh, what's this? Did we go there? I don't know if we went to the left here. I, oh God, it's... Oh, I think I see what I'm looking for, dudes. Did you see those? I drop down. How the hell did I get in here? Pretty sure I saw something glowing in there. I think it was a mistake for them to show it to me or something. I don't know. Whack it. Whack it. I can't get to it. Ah! Oh, I did it. Hey, you know, if we just finish this part here like this, I'll be so freaking happy. Oh, all by mistake, too. You know what? Just in case something happens, we are going to take the two seconds to go back to this wonderful little fire. And it, it, literally, this was all by mistake, too. I said, you know, I'm just going to take a double check, make sure before I go anywhere. Ah, okay. Fire is good. We're in good shape. I sort back out in case of emergency. And I believe we found, finally, our first light shards, right? Yes, we did. Lightstone. Now, does that work for that? I, I'm thinking it might. If not, then we're going to bring them to the top, and maybe that girl can make it into something there, the one at the store. I'm not positive. Yes. Warp? Well, what the frick? Oh, we came out of the cave from there. 
Oh, I know what that is. Right around the corner from the cave where we went into. Okay, so it's a fast way out. So that's good to know. Now we actually have a warp back out. We don't have to go through the whole trek back and forth of this. So does a warp work? Wait a second. Does warp warp work back the other way around? If I go back in here now, does it automatically bring me back if I want to? No. See, that'd be cool if we didn't have to go all the way back down through there. But... I mean, some of those little 138 Dark Essence and we survived with a bunch of berries. I think we did pretty darn good considering the situation and I probably could have brought a better weapon. But anyways, this is a, still the starter weapon-ish. It's not the uh, you know, it's the first sword you make. So once we get the bigger swords, obviously things will get a lot easier and better for us. Oh, I'm super stoked. That was a lot, I mean, a lot of fun. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. If you are, please, of course, show me a support in there and hit the like button. And tell me game edge uh yeah you know what I, i'm enjoying that i like to see something different like this so very much appreciative of course you guys are absolutely stunning thank you for being so amazing every single day in the calm fields and being there i i can't tell you this game is actually very beautiful look at it it has its extreme beautiful moments i swear god and it's very relaxing very nice this will be available november 6 on steam I would, there is a link in the description field again thank you dev teams for uh giving me the opportunity to play this beforehand because i'll tell you i really am enjoying it Thank you all for being here. You guys are the best. This game edge, we'll catch you guys on the flip side.